So do straps actually make a difference? That's what we're going to discuss today as well as the reason why I switched from this basic strap I played 10 years on to this harness. If you can't tell, I'm pumped. Let's go! Hey, what's up guys? Show us Rampen here. In case you don't know me yet, please subscribe to make sure you do get to know me. See what I did there? Anyway, so today we're going to talk about straps. Do they really make a difference? Do you need different ones for different saxophones? Are they worth the money? What do I use? Why am I no longer playing the basic strap and did I switch? Let's find out. So before we start, just to give you guys a little context here, I've been very skeptical when it comes to straps in the past. In fact, I thought, what kind of a difference will a strap make to my saxophone playing? So assuming there wasn't any, you a boy played on the same strap for 10 years. This one, right here actually. So, as you can see, there's nothing fancy about this one. It's just a basic strap. It's a little used because, you know, I've played on it for 10 years and it's actually the piece of gear I've used the most. And I know some of you are thinking, 10 years? That's disgusting. But be assured. I did wash it, from time to time. Anyway, so fast forward to January this year. I actually bought this Jazz Lab harness and since then I've been using it. Because believe it or not, it actually sounded better. So let's put that in context, because I went a bit too quick over this. How did I go exactly from being the guy who was making fun of people who would throw their money at straps to becoming one of them? First of all, I want to clarify that I never thought that different straps were useless. I simply thought that they weren't going to make any difference to your sound or technique. But I did believe, and I still do, that different straps balance the saxophone's weight differently across different body parts, which can be game-changing for some people. For example, people with neck pain should probably have a look into harnesses and straps that don't put too much weight of the saxophone on the neck and distribute it maybe over the shoulders, for example. And as a healthy, strong young man with absolutely no issues, I thought that straps just weren't something I'd have to look into. All right, back to the story. So in January, I got my saxophone revised and while waiting for the latest adjustments to be made by the technician, I started looking around and curious as usually, I ended up looking at the straps and asked him if he minded me testing them. And as soon as I tried the Jazz Lab, I was very surprised because I felt an instant improvement in the sound and after putting some thought into this, here are the two possible explanations I could come up with to explain this. First of all, considering I'd only ever played with a normal neck strap before, I think that the weight of the saxophone on my neck could have created some unconscious tensions. No joke, my neck was holding up 4 kilograms of brass which in return had a negative influence on the sound, because as you know, the tenser you are, the worse your sound will be. This is what I was actually trying to explain to you guys in my embouchure video, for those of you guys who have seen it. But unfortunately, I forgot to adjust the microphone sensitivity and clip the audio all the way through while playing. I'll leave the link to that video down below, go check it out if you have any doubts over your embouchure. The second reason, in my opinion, could be that the Jazz Lab, compared to my previous strap, changed quite a bit the angle at which the saxophone came into my mouth. See it by yourself. Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, I would like to clarify that this video is by no means sponsored by any of these brands that I'm mentioning. Unfortunately, I'm not getting paid to say any of this, so this is just my honest and unfiltered opinion. Okay, so let's try to illustrate all this by a clip where I play with a normal strap and one where I play with the Jazz Lab to give you guys some perspective. Can you hear a difference? Let me know in the comment section below the video. I'm genuinely curious if you can hear a difference. For me, there definitely is a difference and I prefer the Jazz Lab. No joke. <laughs> but I do feel like I have to say that at the time of testing the strap for the first time, no one else in the room with me could hear a difference, even though it seemed obviously better to me. So at the end of the day, I believe it very much comes down to whatever you enjoy and feel comfortable and confident with. I know you probably would have preferred a more black or white type of answer, but that's just how it is. There's one thing I could say, however, and that's that unless you have physical problems, the basic strap is going to do the job very well. Like I said, I played on this one for 10 years, including three and a half years at the conservatory before switching to something else where I felt a little bit more comfortable with. Also keep in mind that the sound difference is very small, especially comparing it to changing a mouthpiece or reed, which would directly impact your sound, a strap will more likely change something about you to make you feel a little more comfortable, which in return might possibly improve your sound a little bit. Oh, and just for those of you wondering, I do use the Jazz Lab now for alto, tenor and baritone saxophones. When playing soprano, I still use a normal strap because it gives me more freedom of movement. I'm using right now the standard Selma strap because it is a little thinner and allows me to lift up the soprano higher without having the strap touch my left thumb. I have also used a basic harness on baritone for a couple of years, but I changed recently because I just hated the fact that the harness never felt well set up. I was always playing around with it, I was literally playing around more with my harness than with my reed and that's quite a statement. Considering all this, I think my harness was a pretty good investment, especially considering it cost only 50 bucks I believe but it's definitely not something I would qualify as a must-have. Anyway, that's it for this video. Like I said, if you got any value out of it or if the saxophone content I'm making resonates with you, there's a subscribe button right underneath the video. If you smash it, you can easily stay up to date with all the future content I'm putting out and improve your sax playing because my mission here is to share with you guys all kinds of tips and tricks around the instrument. Thank you for watching, let me know what you think of this entire strap and harness thing in the comments. I'll see you next time, peace! Still there? Okay, well, if you're not leaving, I'll leave. Peace.